answer your question, Ed? It does. I have, I have two more questions before we wrap up. Um, one is just out of curiosity, who are the biggest PEOs in the country? Just to, like if you can name a handful of them. I'm just curious. You mentioned ADP earlier. Um, who, who else is out there? Yeah. So look, there's a lot of acquisition, uh, venture interest in PEO. There's a lot of, of that going on. Um, there's a company called Venture, V-E-N-S-U-R-E. They're based in Chandler, Arizona. Kind of hard to get exact numbers, but rumblings are they're up over 1 million worksite employees at 1 million worksite employees. So there, there's rumors out there, the largest current PEO, but that's mostly through acquisition. We've talked about ADP Total Source. They're based in Miami. They're around 700,000 worksite employees. You know, you guys have all heard just like ADP for the paychecks, right? They're the other payroll service provider out there. They have an offering called Paychecks Flex, but they recently acquired a pretty big PEO called Oasis HR. They're based in West Palm Beach, Florida. Combined, they have over 500,000 worksite employees. There's a big one in uh, Dublin, California, Trinet, mostly in the tech space. That's really where they um, focus, but they have almost 400,000 worksite employees. And then there's some, you know, pretty big privately held, probably the largest privately held PEO is GNA Partners. They're based out of Texas. They have 100,000 worksite employees. But there's a couple of big ones that are just getting on the scene. Um, you've probably seen billboards for them. I see them at airports and tech hubs. Rippling, relatively new PEO. They yep. were founded in 2016 in San Francisco. Deal, D-E-E-L, even newer, founded in 2019, also in San Francisco. They're really gaining a lot of ground.